Next spot will be uh <laughs> next spot. <laughs> okay, let's get going. All right, next game we're gonna play against Natasha. Natasha is the last of the adapted bots, and then we will we will keep moving on. Okay, so I will play either color challenge. Let's go. Bro is getting political. No, I'm just having fun, you guys. I mean, maybe I'm I'm being I'm I'm having fun. If you guys actually think I'm being serious, please chill. So, okay. Um. Let's take. Oh, let's go knight f3 here. We're playing the classic trash variation of the French. Hold on a second. What do I need to do? Um, one second. Do, 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 do. Give me one second. All right, let's play C3. Now, those of you guys who are wondering, I, of course, had this position or something very similar to this position against Vasily Ivanchuk in the Amber Blindfold event. I think it was Blindfold that we played this uh, in 2011 where we had the French. He played the C4 move, and I played B3 at the right moment. So I have played this quite a bit. Go Bishop B2 here and take. Uh, let's go Bishop B2 here. Um, let's just Castrol. I could have taken the pawn too, but no need to. And now I'll just take the pawn, play rookie one, and Natasha's gonna lose very, very soon. Let's take on d5. Let's just take bishop b5, rookie one, gg. Check, rookie one. Attack the queen, and this will be game over soon. Let's take the queen. I can just play d6. I can also go knight e5 here. Everything looks pretty peachy. What is your favorite opening? I don't have a specific favorite opening, um, but but openings. Uh, oh wait, bishop c two. Let's play queen two e two. But I would say probably my childhood openings. I will always have um, have very fond memories of like the scotch scotch for example, because scotch is a great great drink. Um, so the scotch is definitely one, and the Sicilian night is the other one for sure. Check check and collect the knight. Yeah, six moves, yeah. I'm gonna try to get really tricky with Bishop C6 here to trade and checkmate him with uh with um knight to d7 here. So I'm trying to get a little bit sneaky. Let's go king f1. It's not gonna bunter mate in one, is it? No. Okay, so I take go knight d7 GG's. Ikaru drinking scotch at the age of 12. <laughs> right. <laughs> yeah, okay, let's go here. Knight is actually dominated, no squares to go to. Just cut off the knight. If he goes to g8, I just check on the back rank. Play h3 and take. Take the knight. Strongest opponent you've ever faced, excluding Magnus Carlsen. I don't know, like Vishyanon, Anatoly Karpov. I mean, too many to name. So many great players. Neither a Puba die for the 16 that you crush for the 5. Let's play queen e6 here. Should be doing very, very well. Let's go queen f7, king to c6, next move, and we're going to win. Thank you so much to Wilco8507 for the 21 months. Appreciate it. Go check and mate. Gary, Gary, of course, also. I mean, they're, they're just too many. Now, let's see. We've played 17, so let me update the score uh, briefly since we finished the, the last set of bots. And there we go. Should Score should update. It did update. Okay, let's see. We can play the beginner bots, but I think I'm going to do it a different order. I'm going to play the intermediate bots. Let's start with Amir from Turkey. Uh, big shout out to Amir. Hope everything is everything is well. Salam. My kids think I'm a grandmaster. Don't tell them otherwise. Let's play e4 here. Thank you so much to JJ Alice for the 17 and Floppy Pawn for the prime. Thank you so much. Let's play queen e2. Uh, let's go knight f3 and c3 d4. Maybe also you guys, those of you who are wondering, we will be playing. Um, uh, we will be playing in the Turkish event at one um, at 1 p.m. So in about two two hours from now, I think it is. Uh, let's go g3 here. 
play bishop g2 he was just a floppy pawn for the prime once again let's just take the pawn on d5 did I like the Harry Potter book more than the movies uh I thought the books were phenomenal I didn't really love the Harry Potter movies um uh, I think I take take I take with Chuck as far as ads go you guys Twitch runs the ads what do you want me to do I mean what do you want me to do you want me to be like oh Twitch is so evil no ads no ads I mean to be fair you guys are getting a free experience think about it that way you're getting a free experience to begin with so chill so I'll okay, just take the knight here I will take the first few hair uh, just by twitch yeah you guys just by twitch um play knight t2 here things we're just at three 3k for the prime and zz om for the five let's just go bishop g2 here and i can play knight c4 or knight e4 let's play rookie one rook d1 and knight c4 next move are you more of a positional or tactical player both um both 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 uh i don't know what amir is doing amir is trying to run with his king play d5 please play Nelson as black Nelson Nelson who thank you Sidney for the prime things are Sidney uh I mean again everything is winning here so I'm just gonna keep pushing King is very very open um good 95 Queen b5 Queen b7 Tokian is better um Tokian is better from the pure standpoint but I, but I would argue that when I when I read Harry Potter versus Lord of the Rings for me for whatever reason I found it easier to uh to sort of visualize visualizer in my mind imagine Tokians or not Tokians sorry uh uh the world of Hogwarts more so than um than Middle Earth go Bishop d6 but that, that's just me I mean that's just my 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 general two cents did I skip Martin do you mean did I skip George R. R. Martin I mean I never was that big on um never that big on 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 all the Game of Thrones stuff like again like many people um you know even though I didn't follow it closely a book hasn't been published in what like 20 years oh you mean Martin the chess bot uh no I don't think so that Queen takes what are those bots doing not realistic yeah it's not it's not ideal for sure the way they're playing um let's go here um let's go check let's take how about Asimov I read I read a couple of those books not 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 big on it um it wasn't bad either but I wasn't I wasn't that big on it they're trying to just win this game really really quickly as quickly as humanly possible uh, let's go here rook a5 and bishop e5 or not let's take go g4 uh it should be mate in two I think or mate in one okay so you guys said I skipped uh skip Martin uh Martin is the first spot of the beginners but I, I I'm just gonna do the intermediate ones uh first because they're less well I guess they're the same number of them but I'm doing intermediate and then I'll go back to the beginners because uh, beginners should take not that long objectively so let's let's play the uh, intermediates first let's play d4 here I think we should chase Moed for the 12 months Dune is phenomenal I I read I mean I read the first two books of of, of the Duneverse but also not really my thing not not my thing okay let's go Bishop d3 why am I Austrian in game because the the greatest or the greatest person who should have been president of the United States who also loves chess by the way uh is from Austria play h3 here let's go d5 here thank you so much Avinisom for the 16 months appreciate it. let's go knight c3 what about C.S. Lewis uh Arnold Arnold Schwarzenegger have I been to Harry Potter at Universal Studios um I have actually I have actually been there do I want to stream Hogwarts Legacy I I don't particularly care either way I know there are a bunch of people getting getting all wound up over it because JK Rowling you know benefits her because I assume she owns a copyright or something I don't care I don't care it's just a game it's just a game chill the fridge out uh Arnold Schwarz Schwarzenegger yeah stop stop being weird you guys you're trying to get me to say something wrong you you know next person who acts like a douche is gonna get banned let's play knight f6 here seriously um let's play queen e4 here and take yeah very 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 unacceptable let's play queen takes e5 here yeah good knight e5 check actually I think I'm just gonna ban that guy anyway I'm just gonna ban him anyway yeah let's play queen c7 here Take the bishop on h3 here 
Ridiculous. Let's take the Bishop on B4. Thank you so much. Yeah, Boy Kai for the 15 months. Let's play King H1, Rook G1, next move. All very, very good. Very, very good. Um, let's go Queen F4 to hit the pawns on F6 and H6. Um, let's go Rook E1 here. Play Rook E7, just like Rook G1, Queen G4. All, all roads lead to Rome. Why well, I said my flag is Latvia? No, this is Austria. Latvia is a... Uh, the Latvian flag is a darker shade. It's like a it's like a darker shade of purple. Let's play knight h4 here. Yeah, you know, super 100 bits thing. Elliptic for the four months. Let's just take a mate in one, or mate in two, I should say. A mate in one. Let's keep going. Next spot will be uh <laughs> next spot. <laughs> okay, let's get going. Next spot, of course. Um, let's play knight f6 here. Okay. Let's play c5. Let's play the classic uh. Let's play the classic Benko Gambit here. Let's play a6 here and takes. <laughs> um, let's go g6 here or bishop g7 next move. Yep. Yep, 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 exactly. Let's go bishop g7. Have I watched the last the last of us? No, I have not watched the last of us. Nope. Now let's take. Just take, of course. Let's just take with a rook. Um, and now just castles and like queen a5. This is all pretty good for me here. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, let's go queen v6, attack pawn on v2. Thank you so much to Funkle Unker for the, um, for the 33 months. Thank you so much to Funkle Unker. Let's play knight bd7. I can play like queen b4, c4 here. And also go knight g4. Uh, rook c8 is also an interesting move to play for c4 as well. So pretty good stuff. Thank you so much to the Excalibur for the prime. Thank you so much to the Excalibur. Thank you. Um, let's play knight c5 here. Now I'm attacking the pawn at e4. I can also go knight d3. I assume I just take the pawn at e4 and it's pretty good. Um, <laughs> after the game ends, yeah. <laughs> right, exactly. Yes. Yes. That would be the uh that would be the ultimate troll from uh from chess.com. If, if they somehow could program the bot to have that a a after you um after 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 the bot loses, it's uh, it's gonna it's gonna ask you for uh, for a hundred million dollars. Let's play knight takes b1. Things are individual obvious for the prime. Things are just avatar for the eight. Let's go c3 here. Um, I can play c3. I can play rook a8. Next move a5. Just queen b5 here. Um, play queen b5. All right, let's go rook c8 here. Maybe c2. Maybe d5 d4. All very very good. Uh, let's go c2 here now queen e2 maybe queen g5 um do bots tilt at all bots do not tilt um that's also why like for, for magnus for example or myself it's so pointless to play a computer because there are there are a couple things the first problem is that it's just better than us that there's no doubt it's just better than us but the second problem is that even if you get a slightly better position it's there's no emotion there's nothing going on and it's it's uh in its brain I mean brains the wrong word but there's nothing going on in its processor so it still just plays the best move whereas for us humans like if we make a mistake in the middle game we're a little bit worse we know we're worse and it affects us as the game goes on but it doesn't affect the, the bot at all the bot, bot just plays the best moves like no matter what like that's just how it goes um let's keep going we're gonna play against Aziz from no, that's Nigeria right not to yeah okay good. don't want to get my flags wrong uh let's play d5 Let's go E4 here. Morning party people. Good morning to you too. We're starting off the week in fine fashion. Today, I believe, is Monday, so a new week. The Bishop D6. Uh, what are some of your non-streaming ambitions you'd like to achieve going forward? I don't have non-streaming. I don't have non-Twitch, non-YouTube ambitions really at the moment. Um, I just make content for you guys. I'm glad you enjoy it. I mean, I, I don't know. Like, I'm at an age where having uh, having like ambitions about things like it's not super realistic let's play knight of five thank you doc education for the 28 months appreciate Ooh, now my knight gets in um i just oh i have end peasant here let's take the pawn let's go g5 kick the knight out of town at bishop g3 lurking here very very good position let's take the knight let's go check trade the knights i think there's a pat boss for the two months quit chess tt is better than otb TT is what title Tuesday I mean yeah like I mean I enjoy online chess more than I enjoy over the board chess honestly I do I mean I, I think classical chess is dying I, I really do believe that um 
it might not die today or tomorrow, but the interest and the popularity as, as, as Rapid and Blitzer become the only commercially viable uh, ways to, to get sponsors, I mean, it's, it's going to die. Um, let's just take the pawn. Let's just take the pawn. Classical chess is the best way to get better at chess, though. I don't actually... Well, it depends what your definition of classical is. Classical chess is... If you're, like, maybe 15, 1600, I would argue that playing, like, game games where you have 30 minutes or maximum one hour are, are the way are the way forward but games where, which can go like seven hours are not the way forward go check an f3 someone tell the boomers at fide that well fide doesn't understand quite a few things but first and foremost they don't understand that in general sponsors do not like classical chess and maybe fide can keep getting these sponsors from certain parts of the world who who just love chess because it's such a part of the culture but in the western world most most people are not interested in that now i'm going to be really fancy schmancy and make a pony here and take the queen let's take i can just take and and win the game that's just the reality um let's go check and take the bishop on c3 and the rush should be pretty straightforward faster time control is peak excitement as it leads to more dynamic positions absolutely also frankly the thing is like we live in a world where everything is getting quicker you look at baseball baseball games i remember when i was like maybe 14 15 there used to be baseball games that would go like four hours the games between like the yankees and the red sox they were they were always like three and a half to four hour games and baseball is really sped it up you you have the the countdown like it's what 30 seconds i think in between every pitch if not less um and ga games don't generally go more than three hours now but when i was young when i was young those games between the yankees and red sox every game was like three and a half to four hours no matter what every single one of them let's go check let's go here and checkmate do i think the bots are overrated hard to judge oh it's 15 seconds okay tennis is still america no but tennis is different right because in australia they changed it now there's no uh the fifth set doesn't go on for like five thousand games they change it to a super tiebreaker right is, is a super tiebreaker at six games or is it 12 at wimbledon i don't remember let's play the carl Kahn here against laura i think someone should struggle uh troggle troubler for the um for the seven months they need a powder hound for the 21 months let's go bishop about five here play e6 thank you so much donald dumb for the eight months thank you so much donald dumb so the speed of technology is dictating our patient. Yeah, I mean, algorithms dictate it too. But at any rate, I mean, classical chess, it's its not going to ever completely die. But when you have more and more sponsors who love rapid chess, eventually, eventually it is going to go the way of the dodo. Thank you so much to Robert Tonini. Wav, thank you so much. Let's go knight of five. All the pawns are under attack. There should be winning. Uh, let's take the pawn. Rook's stuck. He has to go knight d2 and lose all. He might lose the entire chain of four here. Even rapid chess is drawish. I mean, to some degree, yes, but you still get more decisive results. And I, I really would argue. Oh my gosh, she, uh, she could have trapped my queen with bishop d2. I think maybe, maybe she missed. But let's take and play queen d4. Um, do you ever win a bullet turn? Bullet tur chess is great online. You can't really have bullet chess over the board. It's too messy. Uh, let's just take. Now I got all the pawns. Audio is cutting out. Audio is not cutting out. That's on your end if it's cutting out. My mom doesn't say anything. Yeah, the audio is not cutting out, huh? That's on your end, dude. Let's go B5 here. Yeah, no audio issues. Yeah. <laughs> Trying to scare me. Let's go A5 here. You can play like knight D6 and knight C4. Just very, very straightforward. It's doing something. Yeah, I'm making noise and talking. Uh, let's just go A4 and then knight C4. Thank you so much to Josh Jens for the five months. Knight C4. Take. We're going to win this game as well. I guess I'll play Rook C8, just try to win the pawn. I mean, I have so many pawns here. But yeah, classical chess, I mean, it's it's still going to exist. But um, eventually, when the prize funds keep keep getting bigger and bigger for both online chess and for rapid events over the board, it, classical chess is just going to become pretty much irrelevant. Play A3 and B3 or C5 here. I have uh, a lot of pawns marching up the board here. I think there's a women that love Hikaru for the gifted sub. Yep, thank you so much. Thank you for the gifted sub. Um, let's go a2 here maybe b2 next move and go from there maybe it's the lighting on stream what what's the lighting on stream i don't know let's go b2 here um i i, I again you guys as far as agent smith goes I, I explained how i'm scoring this um and that's that but if you if you want to uh, talk about, if you if you want me to repeat it for the millionth time i will basically i'll play up to 10 games against the bots the really good ones and whatever the, my best result is will, will count that so for example when i play Komodo 10 games and i lose 10 games and i get adopted it will count as one loss thank you so much to Clanchi for the 17 months appreciate it 
go c3 and c2 here make a queen uh, i can play rookie three make a queen. i mean everything wins so i'm just gonna i'm just gonna clean up the board as, as quickly as i possibly can Okay, checkmate. Why does nobody watch Ding? Okay, so that is five more. We've got 10 more to go before we're done with the intermediates. We're playing Sven from, is that Slovenia? Sloven? Is Sven a Slovenian name? I could have sworn Sven is a, uh... isn't Sven a uh, like Scandinavian name? I don't, I don't know. I, when I think of Sven, I think of like Denmark, uh, Denmark, Norway, Sweden. Yeah, I, I think of Scandinavia. I, I know Sven doesn't sound very, uh, very Slovenian to me, but <laughs> I don't know. What do I know? Magnus's first name is Sven. Oh, that's right. Yes, of course. The classic. The classic. Yes. Let's castle here. Yeah. Let's take here. Sven Luka Doncic. Yeah. Um. I guess I can play like just back to E2. Thanks so much to Hey Hal for the four months. Thanks so much to Hey Hal. I actually have a bad position here. Um, let's go C3. Sven is a, not a very Slovenian name. Oh man, Sven just hangs the night. Poor Sven Carlson. Just hangs the night for no reason. Then again, Sven did hang a bishop against me. He played bishop to C7, right? To, to hang hang a piece. Thank you, Bishop D4. Thank you, Aptap Paravis for the 12 and no devotion for the prime. I mean, Seven did play Bishop C7, hanging Knight takes C7 in our match for the speed chess championship. Let's take the queen here. Thank you, Yasu, for the $5. Appreciate it. Let's just take, take the bishop, clean it up, and that's it. My dad's German, and his name is Seven. Ah, uh, okay. Let's play Rick D1. I will be playing the charity event later on today. Yes, you guys, I will be. Dang, Hikaru is 36, 35, doesn't look it, look like he's late 20s. Well, that's just called Japanese jeans, honestly, you guys. What can I say? Let's check made a one. Let's keep going. 